Hello and a warm welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about skin and aging and how we can help our skin to look youthful the natural way. So if you don't know me already, my name's Danielle Collins. I'm world leading face yoga expert. I've been teaching face yoga for 18 years now, as well as all aspects of well-being, from yoga to face massage. I even do business coaching. I also delve into aspects of nutrition and lots of ways of feeling good on the inside. Now, what I want to share with you today is how I help my skin look naturally good for my age. Now I'm 42, I've never had any injectables like Botox or fillers, I've never had any surgery, and I'm definitely not here to say that I think that my skin looks amazing for 42 or that I look young for 42 or anything like that. In fact, I probably think I look my age. However, I really try and pride myself on looking as healthy as I can for my age. So that's always my aim day to day. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. But today we're going to delve into six ways that I help my skin look naturally ageless, naturally healthy and naturally happy. So I could probably give you about 60 ways to be honest, because there's many, many things that I do, but let's get into just six and here's number one. Now it won't surprise you that this is face yoga. I have been doing face yoga for a long time now, almost two decades. And face yoga, in case you are new to it, is a combination of facial exercises, facial massage, acupressure, relaxation and well-being. So it's really looking at the skin holistically. It's strengthening and toning some muscles in the skin. It's learning to relax other muscles so we don't overuse them through expressions. It's using the beautiful power of our own hands through massage. So this is helping with the circulation. This is helping to naturally boost the collagen and elastin in the skin. This is helping with lymphatic drainage. This is helping to relax stress in our face. We also apply pressure through certain points in the face through acupressure. So as we do this, we have lots of benefits for the skin, but also for the mind and body too. And the fifth area, which I love, and I think brings all of it together beautifully, is the well-being. And well-being is about looking after ourselves holistically. And we're going to delve into that a little bit deeper in today's video. But really, it's about things for like reducing stress. It's how we sleep. It's how we hydrate our skin. It's our nutrition it's our mindset, it's the way we think about ourselves, the way we view ourselves, the way that we view the world, the way that we interact with other people, all of this can affect our skin. So my method, Daniel Collins Face Yoga Method, really brings together that holistic approach to the skin. Now, if you want to delve into face yoga, there are so many ways you can do it. You can follow all of these videos I do on YouTube. I have thousands of videos all working on key areas of the skin. So you can have a look about what suits you. You can use one of my books, Daniel Collins Face Yoga or the Face Yoga Journal. You can use one of my courses. I've got a brand new seven day course, which is currently only 21 pound. It's a really great way just to delve into key face yoga techniques. So you can just go to faceyogaexpert.com and you'll find the information there. So that's my number one way, face yoga. Let's get into number two. So this is actually to do with something I eat and that is protein. Now protein is a really important building block for our body but also for our skin as well. It really helps with our collagen in our skin. Now we naturally lose the collagen stores as we get older. So the collagen declines in our skin at about a 1% per year from about the age of 18. So each year we age, we find that our skin has less of that bounce back ability. It has less of that firmness. It has less of that plumpness as well. Now there are lots of ways that we can really improve the collagen in our skin and through what we eat is a key way. And protein is one of those ways. So it doesn't matter whether you are a meat eater, whether you're vegetarian or whether you're vegan, you really want to include some quality protein in every meal. This is going to make such a difference, not only to helping your skin to repair its collagen, but also with face yoga, we are looking to strengthen and tone our muscles. And it's so important we have enough protein in our body if we're going to do that. So really just taking this simple tip, applying it right away today and including some good protein in every meal that you eat. So number three 
is increasing antioxidants. Now, a big reason why our skin ages is because we are exposed to free radicals. Now, free radicals may be through sun damage, they may be through pollution, they may be through stress, they may be through the foods that we eat, but all the time our skin is being exposed to these toxins. And a way that we want to really reduce those free radicals in our body and in our skin is through eating a diet high in antioxidants. So this includes Includes green leafy vegetables, berries, citrus fruits. Fruits and vegetables are a great way to do this. And the more that we can eat these antioxidants, more it's going to help to fight these free radicals in our skin. You can even include things like dark chocolate and green tea in this. And don't forget to also apply antioxidants to your skin as well. Twice a day, I apply Fusion by Danielle Collins Moisturising Serum because it's packed full of antioxidants and we've got an amazing skincare specialist and her team who make this product specifically for face yoga and specifically to help your skin look naturally younger it's cruelty free it's vegan it's accredited by the soil association and only a very tiny handful of brands have this accreditation by the soil association and it's extremely high in vitamin a vitamin C and vitamin E, which are all very high in antioxidants. It's got green tea extract in there, very high in antioxidants. It's got carrot oil in there, also very high in antioxidants, as well as rosehip oil, evening primrose oil. All of these ingredients are really going to help your skin and help with the antioxidants. So really helping to fight those free radicals to help your skin look healthier and more youthful. So number four way that I help my skin look healthy and happy is reducing inflammation. Now, inflammation can cause many problems in the skin. It can cause lines and wrinkles. It can cause acne. It can cause things like eczema, rosacea. Obviously, all of these skin conditions are very complex and inflammation is not the only cause. But a big reason we get inflammation is again down to stress and sun damage, but also what we eat. And one of the worst culprits, and you won't like me for saying this, is sugar. Now, I'd love to say that I am completely sugar free. I'm not. I'm completely gluten free because this has been advised to me specifically by a doctor. And this works really well for me for completely other reasons. But the only other two things I avoid completely are alcohol and caffeine. However, I do have a little bit of sugar. Would I like to be sugar free? Yes. Am I at the moment? <laughs> no, I'm not. But I do try and be very mindful of the sugar that I have because sugar can cause something called glycation. Now, glycation can age the skin very, very quickly. It's really breaking down the collagen and lasting in the skin and it really causes something which means that our skin ages very quickly. It can cause lines and wrinkles. It can cause outbreaks in the skin. It can cause lots of other skin conditions. So if you can just try and reduce some of the sugar in your body, it will really, really help your skin. It's definitely, definitely a top tip for healthy looking skin. And number five is reducing exposure to the sun. Now it's estimated that 80 to 90% of the damage that's caused to our skin and of the aging that happens in our skin is because of sun damage. Now, I know the sun debate is often quite a controversial one. Yes, the sun is a very good way of helping us to get vitamin D. So what I tend to do is in the summer months, because I live in the UK, I tend to expose my legs and my arm for between 10 to 15 minutes to the sun without sun lotion on. This just allows me to get enough vitamin D into my body. I also take a vitamin D supplement. I use a vitamin D oral spray. I find that works really well for me. And actually my vitamin D levels are extremely high. I've just had a blood test recently. So my supplementation and my small amount of sun exposure is really being good for that. Now it's important to also remember, if you live in the UK or if you live near the UK, then you can only really get your vitamin D from the sun between the months of April and October. The autumn and the winter, it's almost impossible to get the vitamin D from the sun. 
Now, I always wear an SPF on my face, even in the summer. I find that this is really, really key for helping my skin to stay healthy, to stay youthful, to reduce me getting things like sunspots, lines and wrinkles in my skin. Now, the other controversial thing when it comes to protecting the face is the toxicity of certain sunscreens. Now, many, many sunscreens out there but really they are all having a certain toxic effect on the skin. There are some mineral sunscreens which are a lot less toxic and there's really no recommendation here for you. It's important you find what is right for you. But if you can protect your skin, it's going to make a massive, massive difference to the aging process. Now I tend to use one by Green People. It's organic, it's reef friendly. This is not sponsored in any way. It's just one that I currently use. I sometimes use a mineral mineral sunscreen. There's a few brands I like for that as well. But if you just say, look, I don't want to put an SPF onto my face, what I would highly recommend is you wear a hat, a large brimmed hat and sunglasses when you go out. This will make a massive difference to protecting your skin. The other thing to remember is you have got two types of rays from the sun. You've got the UVA and the UVB. Now the UVA rays are the aging rays and the UVB rays are the burning rays. Now the burning rays you won't get so much when you are in the shade or when it is colder weather or it's cloudier. However, the aging rays you can get all year round. They can even penetrate through glass. So if you're sat by a window, you're getting those aging rays and they even can penetrate through clouds. So even on the coldest cloudiest day, you can get those aging rays affect your skin. So this is why protecting your skin from the sun, particularly your face all year round is so important. And my sixth and final tip today is all about mindset. Now, if you haven't heard me say this before, then I'm going to say it again. How we feel on the inside makes a massive difference to how we look and feel on the outside. So even if we're using the SPF, even if we're eating the right foods, even if we're doing face yoga each day, but inside we are speaking negative thoughts to ourselves, we are feeling very low about ourselves, then this is going to show out through our face. So something I would definitely recommend is getting in the habit of doing affirmations. So these are positive phrases or words and saying these to yourself every day. Also using the power of visualization. So this is a proven technique used by many successful people, business people, athletes use this every day. It really helps to shift your mindset. So if you can visualize yourself as your healthiest, glowing, happiest self, it's going to make a massive difference to how you look on the outside. And there's a school of thought at the moment called psychodermatology. And this is all about how our mindset is linked to our skin. And there's been many scientific studies done on this. And this really links certain skin conditions to what's happening in our minds. So how things like stress and anxiety and depression can aggravate certain skin conditions, but also how certain skin conditions can aggravate things like stress and anxiety and depression. So it's all very much linked and the research is getting stronger and stronger on this as well. So anything you could do to help your mind feel happy and relaxed and calm is going to make a massive difference. And remember, even just deep breathing techniques every day can really help to calm your central nervous system, which is going to massively help your skin. And that's it. That's my six techniques. As I said, I've probably got about 60 of these, so I may do a few more videos, but hopefully you found that helpful for today. Take care. Bye-bye.